So we know that the neck plays a strong role in regards to headaches and migraines. So today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy exercise to help strengthen your neck, to provide support for it, to help decrease the intensity and or frequency of your headaches and migraines. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth, osteopath here at Melbourne Headache Solutions. So with this exercise, we have two sets of muscles that work in regards to your neck. The first group of muscles are the muscles that help to move your neck. So they're the gross muscles, the big muscles. So um, they're the muscles that come down the front of your neck. So we've got this big muscle down here that creates a V shape called your sternocleidomastoid, your SEM muscles. And then you've got the muscles down the back of your neck down here, which we all know about because we get really tight in through them. And then we've also got our traps. We've got our levator scap muscles again, we're all really good at pinching them, finding trigger points in them, and those sorts of things. These muscles are big, they're chunky, and they're known as the movement muscles, okay? Now, with these muscles in headache and migraine sufferers, they also become stability muscles as well. So, they become muscles that need to keep our head upright. Now, our movement muscles are not supposed to keep our head upright, so they become really tired, they become fatigued, and that's why we often get really tight in through them. Okay, and um, as I said, it's because they're not actually supposed to be doing this job and often we end up with this forward head posture, this head poke forwards, okay? Now the muscles that are supposed to be keeping our head upright are called our deep neck flexor muscles. They're teeny tiny muscles that you can't actually feel because they run down the front of your spine, okay? Now in headache and migraine sufferers, as I said, they often don't activate, they often don't work very well. So that's why we get this forward head posture, which places a lot of strain in through these top joints of the neck. And so it leads to an increase in headaches and migraines. So if we can strengthen these muscles, these deep neck flexor muscles, to increase the stability of our neck, then it means that all of those muscles that are supposed to move our neck, like the muscles down the front here, and also the ones at the back, then it means that they can go back to doing their job properly, so just moving our neck, so they're not as fatigued, they're not as tired, and then it means that we can get a decrease in our headaches and migraines. So, we're going to learn now how to activate those deep neck flexor muscles so that everything can go back to doing the job that it was supposed to do. So, when and where does this exercise become the most appropriate? Well, for people who are getting intermittent so when your migraine comes on and then it disappears. So for those people that might get a migraine say once a week or even less frequently than that, so once every two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, something like that. So coming on and off, on and off. Or people that are getting headaches or migraines that alternate sides, okay? Um, even if they're getting it on a daily basis. That's when this exercise is more likely to work and more likely to decrease the intensity and frequency of their headaches and migraines from experience here in the clinic. For those people though that have got a headache or migraine that's just on one side of their head and that's happening more on a daily basis, it doesn't mean that it's not going to work, it just means that it's less likely to have a more significant impact. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't be doing this exercise, okay? So everybody that's got headaches and migraines, certainly give it a try. It's nice and easy, so why not? So, what you're going to do is you're going to lie down. Now let's see how good my selfie skills, uh, my selfie stick skills are. Okay, so bear with me. So, you are, oh, not too bad today. So, what you're gonna do is you're going to lie down on the flat surface. And those muscles that I spoke about before, your SCM muscles, they make a nice V shape at the front of your neck here. What I want you to do is, I want you to do a pinch grip on the front of them. Because we don't want to activate these muscles, we don't. As I said before, they are your movement muscles, okay? They're your movement muscles. So we want to make sure that they're nice and relaxed because we want to activate those deep neck flexor muscles. So lying nice and straight, what we're going to do is keeping your head on the table, on your flat surface, you're going to gently nod your chin to your throat as far as you can without these muscles activating. It's a very small nod. And then you're going to stay here for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you relax. And then you do it again. Again, holding onto those muscles at the front, 
making sure that they don't activate, we nod again. Very small nod, and we stay here for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, skip a few seconds, 1, and relax. And we're going to do that exercise 10 times in a row. Okay, so you hold it for 10 seconds, then you relax, and then you do it 10 times in a row. Then you're going to be doing this at least once a day. Okay? So as I said, we don't want these muscles at the front of our neck to activate. So it's a very small nod. I like to imagine that someone is sitting across the room from me, and if they can see me nodding, you're nodding too fast. It's not a big nod, it's just a very small, subtle nod. Okay, so we're starting to activate the muscles that are supposed to help stabilize our neck, to give support to the neck. So, give that exercise a go, see how it goes. Drop a comment below, let me know how it goes, and if you've got any questions, queries, or concerns about it, let me know. And if you're already trying this exercise at home, and you need um, a more advanced version of it, also drop a comment below, because I can always give you variations of it, okay? So, let me know. However, for people that are doing this exercise, it does not mean that it's going to be the be all and the end all when it comes time for headaches and migraines. We do have dysfunctions in the neck as well that do need to be addressed. So this is just a part of rehabilitation when it comes time for headaches and migraines. So if you don't address the dysfunctions in the neck as well, it means that we're not going to see those long term results. So try this exercise, but if you're not seeing the results that you're after, then don't be disheartened because there are other things that we need to address as well, like, as I said, those dysfunctions in the neck. So give it a go, let me know how you go with it. And as I said, if you've got any questions or queries about anything headache and migraine related, drop them below and let me know. Thanks guys, I'll catch you next time.